Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be replacing the igniter on your range model. The reason why you'd be changing the igniter is if it's burning a red or orange color when it should be burning a white hot color, or if the element inside the igniter is not working properly. Also keep in mind when you get your new igniter that if you touch this black part right here, the oil from your hands will ruin the igniter, so be very careful on not doing that when you get your new igniter. If you need a new igniter, you can find one on our online store. For this repair, you'll need a flathead screwdriver, a 3 8 wrench, a quarter inch nut driver, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. To begin replacing this part, we're going to open up the range door. We're going to take out both racks inside of the range. So next we're going to take out the bottom of the range, and we're going to do that by taking out these two screws located in the back of this panel. Now keep in mind, our model is going to be different than yours, but it should be relatively the same aspect. So once both those screws have been removed, we're just going to lift up on the bottom, and slide it forward, and slide it out. So next we're going to remove the flame spreader. Now this also may vary depending on your maker model. So once the flame spreader has been removed, our igniter is going to be located right here. In order to remove the igniter, we're going to have to push out the bottom drawer. And we're going to have to remove this metal casing in this corner right here. I'm just going to slide this housing over to the side. Next, we're just going to disconnect this clip right here. We're just pulling, pushing down on the tab and pulling it out. We're going to remove the metal housing from the igniter wires. We're going to put the housing to the side. So next we're going to take the igniter off of this frame right here. So once the old igniter is off of this frame right here, next we're going to remove these two wires. We're going to do that by pulling up on these gray plastic caps. And we're just going to use a screwdriver to lift the wires off of this frame right here. So once both those wires are disconnected, you can take out the old igniter. So next we're just going to place these gray caps onto our new igniter. So next we're going to screw our new igniter into this frame right here. So once the igniter is in place, we're just going to reattach those two wires we took out previously. I'm going to make sure that those gray caps go over those two clips where the wires are clipped in at. So next we're going to take this metal frame that we took out previously. We're just going to feed this cord through that. And we're just going to plug this clip back in. Make sure it snaps and it's secure. We're going to take this metal housing and line it up with a screw hole on the bottom of the range. So next we're going to take our flame spreader we're going to make sure that it's lined up correctly. And we're going to go ahead and screw that back into place. Next, we're going to replace the bottom panel of the range. Next, we're just going to replace the rack. We're going to go ahead and shut the door on our range. And we can go ahead and shut the bottom door as well. So after both of those are shut, I'm going to say that you should test out your range to make sure that you install the part correctly. But if you test it and it seems like everything's up to date, your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share. And if you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel.